This is a short, somewhat tried and true method to manufacture your own books. First, write a book. Next, if you have Adobe Acrobat, you can use the book printing option to make your book into a two-up, double-sided document. This is a great feature in Acrobat. You'll just have to do a little experimenting with your margins and your font size to make sure that it's readable and you don't have words going into the gutter of your book. Now that your book is all printed out, you have to cut it down the center. Notice that the two center spread pages are consecutive, so all I have to do is cut it and then fold it together and it will be a complete book. I sped this up a lot. Please don't try this quick cutting at home. You can cut this by hand or you can have it professionally done on a machine, which is what I did because I'm doing several books at once and it's much cleaner and easier. Once you have your book all together, jog it and straighten it to get it square and put it into your homemade book binder. I made this with two pieces of wood, two wing nuts and two screws. It's pretty easy and quick to make and does a very good job of keeping the book straight. I also made one using 5 inch screws so I can do several books at once. The jury's still out on that one. Next we put on the glue. I use a natural pH adhesive, this one from Linaco. It's not the same as regular white glue, even though people will tell you it is. It's probably best to use this kind as it is specifically for book binding and it remains flexible. I cut a regular bristle brush off so it would be a little more rigid and force the glue into the paper better. Three coats seem to work well, letting them dry an hour or so in between. This next part is pretty technical. Using the center of your dining room table, spread it apart a little bit. Then use a wooden scrabble tile to make the crease. The scrabble tile is nice and smooth and it doesn't tear the book or make a hard crease that will crack. Don't you love science? Now for my favorite part. We get to attach the cover. I use Gorilla Glue for this part because it expands and makes a nice hard casing for the spine of the book. First I put a little water on the cover and then I apply the Gorilla Glue. Be careful, it takes some practice to know just how much this stuff expands. I've had some Gorilla Glue nightmares but this stuff is really great. Now you can pop it back into your book press, securing it tightly and then rest it on its spine so that the glue adheres to the rest of your book.